Let's head outside this afternoon. I'll tell you this. You thought you had a chilly morning? Look at this. This is video from Duxbury, Vermont. People there waking up to a, a couple inches of snow. Wow. We're saying the us word now. That's wild, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We are. You're saying it. I didn't say it. <laughs> you know what's so funny, though, with that? Last night I was at the grocery store, and I saw someone, the guy in the checkout in front of me, buying eggnog. And I was like, let's slow down. We gotta, let's, we're not even through Halloween yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's over, uh, right? Entirely. Yeah. Um, so we have that chance for us. A couple of showers, beneficial rain on Tuesday night. Good. And so we're looking at these deficits and just like, wow, when's it going to rain, right? Because you're at third place now. Season to date now. This is season to date for these other years as well. Um, 1884, go back to 1914. There was 2024. Third place so far. We know we're going to get more rain through the month of November and this autumn. Uh, season that we call astronomical or uh, I'm sorry, climatological or meteorological fall. But, uh, you know, the deficit that we're in right now for the month of October is almost three inches. And that's the biggest deficit we've had all year. Remember, we had a pretty wet J uh, January and a pretty wet March, but it was long gone, obviously. And that water is long gone as well. So the high temperatures today were a little chilly after starting off near freezing. Upper 40s to lower 50s, some of the warmer spots, if we can call it that, from Norwood to Taunton and uh, also into Walpole. Uh, New Bedford was 54 degrees, so we did manage to make it there. And temperatures now right near 50 degrees. These numbers fall quickly and will set up what we know as the inversion, which we all know caused that smoke to creep around the city of Boston and through our metro west suburbs. Uh, Framingham 49 headed the pack for the cool down. Sudbury 49, Halston the same. There were some snow showers that came across Vermont and some flakes even reported down through Haverhill and back into southern New Hampshire. Wow. I mean, they were floating around. They did not accumulate here, thankfully. That was a little stripe of precip, but that's long gone. But the frontal boundary is still in vicinity. We're on the cool side of it. The warmth for Halloween, really starting Wednesday, I should say, is very, very obvious here, right? 74 Minneapolis, 65 in Green Bay. We have another chilly night before we can start talking about the warm-up. And tomorrow's not all that warm. I mean, certainly we're warmer than we were today by a few degrees. But this is a day that starts chilly, clouds come in, it feels like late October or early November. Those showers, though, we're optimistic about. I mean, this isn't like a panacea. This isn't going to solve all our problems here. But we will see the chance for some wet weather uh, after dark and through the night, midnight, 10 o'clock. Oh, that might be fun, right? Puddles? What are those? And then this moves away on Wednesday morning, warming us up into the 70s. Now, this may be a slow start. There may be some fog or low clouds first thing, but these numbers soar. Wow. With a little bit of sunshine in the afternoon. We don't stop there for Halloween. I'm sure you've heard about the warmth coming in. It's 78 degrees near record warmth anticipated. And that means some of that warmth will be lingering into the evening for the trick-or-treaters. By late afternoon, we cool down to the upper 60s. And then by evening, say maybe 6 or 7 o'clock, we're back down to 64. Remember, when the sun sets, even with a warm day, it still cools rather quickly. So, you know, late night, we'll fall back to the 50s. We hold on to some of that warmth only on Friday morning, not for the entire day, although it still is warm, even sliding down from these highs in the 70s. And then right about face again. Saturday, low 50s, and we climb back to the 50s next weekend. It's wild, isn't it? You can see it a little bit better. Clock's back, by the way, Saturday night. The weekend right now looking pretty good. Lows will fall back into the upper 30s by Sunday morning. And we have another opportunity for some wet weather on Tuesday of next week. I'm optimistic about that and maybe a shift in the pattern, but a little bump of milder air, too. It looks like we'll go back into the 60s. I'll see it at 4.30.